This is where I grew up. The flood basin. Used to go and collect rocks here. Make my way up to this canyon up there called Cottonwood Canyon. Where's my dogs at? Chloe! Come here, Chloe! Scout! There's my two mutts. So this is our daily routine before we go to the store. Go and walk these two guys, or guy and gal, up the canyon. Because if you don't, Chloe is intolerable. So yeah, we just Sunday, we went on a, a 10 mile hike and I still have more energy than, like I never went. So anyway, big outdoors person. That's why I like living in Richfield to get the question, why do you live here? Uh, it's one of the reasons, just like being able to just, before you, you hear that busy freeway, I-70, but once we're out of I-70 up in this canyon, you won't see another human. The hiking uh, trip I went on Sunday, same thing. I, I, I guarantee I fished in a spot that no one has fished since they've replanted the cutthroats. I don't know why anyone would pack up four and a half miles up in the middle of nowhere. But anyway, this is coming up on make this hike every day. There's our trail we've made. A little trail here just from hiking this every day. So this is called Cottonwood Canyon. Funny story about this little part. When I was a kid, we used to come sledding up here. And we came up here the sun goes down around 5 o'clock, I would say, in December. Um, and right here at this part, we were coming back. We were already late, so we knew we were in trouble because the sun had already gone down. And we come to this little portion right here, and there's a fire going. And there's a bunch of bums <laughs> building a campfire here. And as little kids, we were afraid they were going to eat us. So we had to hike around them. <laughs> there's this scary tunnel. If we go across, I'll show you it in a second. Well, when I get there. And so we had to hike our sleds across rather than go down this way uh, because we were afraid the bums were gonna eat us. So anyway, this is the canyon I grew up. It actually gets really pretty if you go clear up this canyon. I know you gotta make everyone sick with my bumping around. One thing I'm gonna get come January is I'm gonna probably get a Canon 550. DSLR camera as well as uh, a GoPro. The new GoPro seems to have really good stabilization and light and whatnot. But yeah, this is my childhood building dams in this little stream. And it's actually kind of crazy there's water in it in November. This usually dries out in August. We had a good water year last year. But this canyon will go up a long ways up to the top of a, a peak called White Pine, which uh, has snow on it until about early July and usually my little brother and I will make the backpacking trip up this way but that's one of the reasons why I'm hiking a lot I want to get in shape for spring because this is going to be a monster a couple of the climbs that we have planned up here my brother's a huge rock climber and camper and I like to camp and fish I'm kind of afraid of heights so I'll rock climb every now and again I haven't rock climbed for a while but I'll have to show you this canyon sometime. It's really pretty. It doesn't look very spectacular here. It's really deserty, but it gets up into like pine trees and and more of the mountain type look, the Utah mountain look. Love this area for that kind of stuff. We have we're surrounded by mountains. Like everywhere you look, there are mountains, and each one of them has beautiful uh, hikes going up it. Kind of cool. Really, not a very known. Uh, portion of Utah. Like when people think of Utah, they think of the Uinta Mountains, which is north uh, eastern, or they think of Moab, or down in the swell, the San Rafael swell, or the Moab area, for the big desert cliffs. Like if you look at Westworld, a lot of that was actually filmed in Utah, whereas central Utah is pretty much unknown. Um, it's just not a lot of people come here. We have like the people who come and hunt here. There's a big four-wheeler jamboree that brings in about 30,000 people for this big like four-wheeling celebration. But uh, as far as like the main hiking, biking, rock climbing, this is pretty much unknown 
for the majority of people for the outdoors type. And I think they're missing out a lot of good places here. Anyway, there's a little tunnel that we had to hike our sleds back through. And this little kid that's scary, we used to call this the teenager tunnel because all the we'd know all the teenagers would come in here and graffiti on the the tunnels and you know make out down here. And <laughs> that's come down here. Hey look, yeah, come drink down here. There's it. So anyway, I've taught Scout a he goes crazy in this tunnel because I've trained him to go crazy at me. See? Here it goes. Scout! Ruff. Usually he's more vicious. He's being a wimp today. Scout! Yeah, usually he'll go nuts in this tunnel. So if there's ever a zombie apocalypse and I'm in a tunnel with Scout, he's gonna give our position away. Come on, Scout! No, he was, he's tired. He just, you missed in the video, he went and chased after a rabbit. So he got in trouble because he ran. I had to call him and call him to come back. But yep. Yeah. A nice scary little tunnel that we had to hike through and that's that that's our, our daily routine with the mutts go on a hike it takes about a half an hour and hopefully that gets their stupid energy out and then they'll, we'll go to the store here see how much we walk this do you see the trail <laughs> that's every day of walking in the same spot cut a trail through this this path got the guard dogs Been a while since we did an update of the shop. There's Garrett, still hanging out. Good old Goneril Games. Our wall fires is spreading. I need to get a better camera for this. This one does not focus well while walking. What we got going on Thursday night? Probably They're eating all that. kinds of gummies. So there's Josh, there's Zach, Zach, Josh, Dicks, and so, the value here. And then there's our commander board. Look, these are all the commanders that have been played. Just ignore the first part. They're playing D and D. Hey guys. So Josh, get those out of my face. So so this this is Gone Rogue Games. We started our league today. Yeah. Look at that. Can play our store championship. Look at our unstable league. Four packs. That's kind of cool. Um, anything else cool? Look, look, look what Caden opened. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. And then just stuff everywhere. Been trying to work on cleaning. You guys want to see what Kevin really does all day? See, see, let's see. This is what he does all day. He just sits there and plays on Twitter. Well, this will be the new Gone Rogue sign as soon as I get it finished. It's going to be a 3D sign. I got my foam here so that I can 3D it out and then I'm going to kind of plaster over the top of it uh, and do a few things over there but I'll keep you guys updated on my progress on it. And this is what happens at Gone Rogue when it snows. <laughs> these little shits are mean. Hi, I'm famous. So it's Friday at Gone Rogue. Let's go inside. Let's see what we got that's new. Look at that. Ooh, Rivals at Ixalan poster. Kind of the same old at the shop. Got the ships floating. Uh, not much else is new this week. We started an unstable league with four packs of sealed. That's been kind of fun so far. Oh, look at that. Talmage was our champion for the last league. There's all of our new events and everything. Some unstable posters. Let's see what else we got going on. So, look at those tokens. You guys, what do you guys think about the tokens? I think I think some of them look pretty cool. Um, some new stuff going on. Kevin's not here yet. There's my mess. I need to clean up. Um, let's see what's going on in here, guys. Don't have any real F and M players in yet. It's a little bit early. Filthy casual. What are you talking about? Be nice, Talmage. And Talmage is helping Chance build his deck. Look at all those cards. Other than that, should we see what we bought this week? We got our shelves are filling up nicely, finally. Um, all kinds of sleeves, like normal. Well, this is 
about two weeks worth. I need to, I need to do a lot more sorting. Let's see what's see what's in here. What all kinds of cool stuff. See, if there's anything really cool. I throw cards everywhere because I can't do this one-handed. Look at that. Some cool cards. Kalia. Got some islands. What else do we got in here? Got some fluster storms. Anybody want some fluster storms? Let's see what else. Anything else cool? What's up, everybody? It's Gone Roger today. It's Zach. Look what we got. Kevin got some stuff in. I'm recording out a bunch of Skittles in my mouth. There's Skittles in your mouth? I don't know. You just told me to record stuff. Zach wants to trade in cards. Look, send us a wall of fire and I'll put it on the wall. Um, what else have we got to today? To I know. I, I pulled them out again. So Kevin got a love letter. What'd you get, Kevin? Got some Skittles. That's what I got in my mouth. A bunch of Skittles. Appreciate all the support over the last couple weeks. Got a Ciroc. And I believe there is another card in here for me to, me to sign. And Rurik Thar. Should do this. It was nice to get the letter, though. I'm like, Zach and I have, like, so many of these. We need to send you over <laughs> next time rather than wasting the stamp. But it says, Dear Rogue Deck Builder, thank you for everything you do. Rather, uh, rather it's putting out new contents, talking with your subscribers, or simply signing these cards. I guess I say this is from... And Adam, so appreciate Adam. And I appreciate all the hard work that you guys put into your channel. <laughs> that always makes me laugh when you guys say hard work because sometimes I'm the laziest content producer you'll ever meet. Like yesterday's Market Monday, I was too lazy to do a video, so I'm like, ah, oh, stream it instead. I can only imagine the hard work you guys uh, put in every video. That the Rogue Decker Builder produces, now you're making me feel guilty. I also love how Kevin's personality comes through each of the videos. Let's spit out this stuff. We're going fishing. Say hi, Chloe. Chloe, say hi. You're not going to say hi? No? Are you just ready to get out there and play in the water? Scout. Hi, Scout. What are you doing? Go up in our secret canyon. All right, we'll post some photos and videos of catching fish. This is what it's like going fishing with Kevin. You ready, Chloe? Chloe, where are they? Where's the cow? What's that, Chloe? What's that? Oh, he got himself good. Kevin got another one. Look at that. Get that out. It's a little guy, right? Yep. Check this big lure. Oh, wow. The first one to recall for me. Yeah. Woohoo! Kevin got another one. So these Look at that. Bite. The rainbows bite the spinners. Yeah. So, hey, Look scouts, at that. And the scouts, of course, wants to eat it. Oh, there we go. Hey, let me look at that. All sucker. right, Zach caught a huge one again. Twice in a row. That one is oh, probably. Oh, pretty. Well, that's a good. That probably is a good 16 inch. Get the hook out of his mouth. Uh, uh, some scout looking on. Gimme, 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 gimme. Hey, scout. And Chloe's out in the weeds over there, going crazy over something. What are you doing, Chloe? Woohoo! Right, let's see if we can get a little measurement on this or. Crappy measurement. My pole's got a little bit of a measuring. So there is 12 right there to your middle finger or your last finger. 
and it's about 17 inch. inches. That's not the bad. The other one's 22. This one's 17. That looks like a man. Yeah, oh, he is. All right, go, buddy, go. There we go. Wow, this pocket right here produced. Well, we have like three or four get off, and then those two. Yeah, those two massive ones, and I'm hooked to a tree. I caught a tree. Chloe's got a rock over there. Thanks for watching our Gone Roger behind the scenes. A lot of those were a collection of the last two months. A lot of you guys enjoy these type of videos. We'll try to keep it more updated on the store. We are buying a camera, so if anyone has any good ideas, I think our budget is about twelve to fourteen hundred dollars for the camera. And yeah, we'll try to produce some more Gone Roger. But for now, I gotta go open myself up some Rivals Vixlon product. It's the pre-release tonight. Maybe we'll do some recording for it. This has been Kevin and Zach with Gone Rogue. Games and Rogue Deck Builder, thanks for watching. Bang! Good boy!